two periods that was missing that we <clears throat> did see in the third. Well, I thought we showed up to play, but we just didn't do enough to uh, to come out with a victory. I mean, they capitalized on, um, on some mistakes, and, uh, you know, I look at it, we're pushing at the end there. We got five on three, we have to score, we didn't. Um, you know, uh, listen, you can't ask for a better opportunity than that with that much time on the clock and the five on three, you got to find a way to put it in. And we didn't, and uh, ultimately that's the difference in the game, in my opinion. How can you explain the, the lack of offense for the last big game that's only in well, Listen, it's, it's, it's not like we're having we're not having chances. We're having opportunities. I just think we have to work a little bit harder to bury them. And that's everybody. And, uh, you know, it's not a lack of guys not trying or not trying hard enough. I just think you just have to be that, that much harder on the puck and harder in front of the net. And defense got to focus on getting more pucks to the net. I think that maybe we're throwing too many pucks down the wall, playing a little bit too conservative. Sometimes you have to find that lane and get the puck to the net and create opportunities. What did Coach say during the uh, second intermission, PK? Because there did seem to be a marked increase in energy heading in once the third started. Well, yeah. I mean, listen, we, we believe that we, we had an opportunity to win that hockey game even going down by two goals in the third period. And, um, I thought we gave ourselves a good opportunity to score and to get ourselves back in the game, but we just couldn't capitalize on chances down the stretch. And like I said, on a 5-on-3, we have to score, you know, and uh, you know that's that's pretty monumental in a game like that, especially a close game when you you get those opportunities, you have to bury them.